Ha Expert Top 10 success tips from Taylor Swift. The haters are gonna hate, 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 but you just have to shake it off. That's just one successful tip from one of the most famous singer-songwriters of all time, Taylor Swift. Taylor is not only an artist, but a successful businesswoman too. Her show-stopping ideas never cease to amaze her audience. With eight studio albums now under her belt, Taylor has outlasted many other artists to become a global phenomenon. Which album is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. Coming at at number 10 is this success tip from Taylor. Understand that perfect conditions aren't necessary to stimulate success. Swift has said, life isn't how to survive the storm. It's about how to dance in the rain. If you wait until the perfect time to do something, you'll be waiting a long time. Taylor has always taken chances where other artists might not. She has switched music genres and with Swift's most recent album, Folklore, she even decided to release this album as a surprise during an international pandemic. However, this decision came easily to Taylor. When she made the announcement that her new album was dropping at midnight, she told fans via Instagram, before this year, I probably would have overthought when to release this music at the perfect time, but times we're living in keep reminding me that nothing is guaranteed. My gut is telling me that if you make something you love, you should just put it out in the world. This is Taylor saying to just put yourself out there. Even if the timing isn't perfect, you'll never know until you try. Taylor Swift's number nine tip for success is to honor your roots. Though she was born in Pennsylvania, Taylor's career began in Nashville, Tennessee. And now, although Swift has grown to own homes in Rhode Island, New York, and even London, England, she still references both of her original locations in her music. Pennsylvania and Nashville show up consistently through her career because she uses her humble beginnings to ground herself. Taylor is proof that even if you have grown from where you originally started, you can still use your past to inform and impact your present. Swift's musical inspiration comes from her entire life's experience, including her childhood. In December of 2019, she even released a holiday single reminiscing on her time in her birthplace of Wyoming, Pennsylvania, entitled Christmas Tree Farm. On her newest album, Taylor gave a shout out to Pennsylvania on folklore track 7. Taylor has never tried to pass herself off as anyone other than who she is, and she never takes for granted that people know who she is. At every concert, she still introduces herself to the crowd saying, Hi, I'm Taylor. This shows that no matter how rich or famous you may become, it's always important to know where you came from. The number eight tip, don't settle for average. In the past, Swift has said, I'm intimidated by the fear of being average. And this is so clear looking at her career. Taylor Swift has built a unique reputation for herself as a singer and songwriter. It is likely due to her personality and distinctive decisions that she is so famous. Taylor is known to be kind, generous, and genuine, even when it takes more time or effort. One example of this is the way Taylor interacted with her fans during the 1989 era. She went out of her way to meet and talk to them, even sending out gifts and naming the event Swiftmas. Rather than just embark on a PR campaign, Taylor went far beyond average to create a special connection with her supporters. Fans received personal notes and handpicked gifts 
from their favorite artists shipped directly to their homes. These personal touches are what makes Taylor, Taylor. Instead of doing what other artists are doing, she always finds a new and creative way to do something new and build on a career she has already molded from scratch. It is obvious that Taylor works hard now, but her drive for success started before she even started high school. With Taylor's work ethic and commitment to being above average in mind, tip number seven is to advocate for yourself. At age 12, Taylor Swift was pitching record companies her music. She walked into studios in Nashville and handed them her demos and she finally found a place that would agree to her music. And even when she found studios that wanted her vocal talent, Taylor refused to sign unless she could sing the song she wrote. At a young age, Taylor was already standing up for herself. When she got older and her original record deal expired, Taylor made a re new record deal that valued her time as a record artist, recording artist, and a songwriter. Taylor recognized her worth and used that to advocate for herself. In 2018, she signed with Universal Music Group, creating an almost unprecedented contract that led her own or her original recordings to songs. While this was not the case with her first record deal, Taylor has taken steps to make sure she will not be taken advantage of in the future. In fact, Taylor has already made a commitment to re-record her first six album so that she can own the rights not only to her songwriting but to the recordings themselves. Taylor may create as an artist but as a businesswoman she makes decisions that ensure she is not losing out. Six in the lining up of Taylor's success tips is to keep your followers and fans deeply engaged with your projects. Swift is well known for hiding Easter eggs or small hints in our work. These can be details about upcoming projects or a personal life, and they appear in music videos, lyric booklets, and social media posts. The name of Taylor's seventh studio album, Lover, was hidden in the music video for his lead single, Me. Swift's Easter egg are now well known across her fan base and they continue to inspire hundreds of articles about even the smallest details in everything she releases. Taylor Swift is known knows that everything she releases will be deeply analyzed for hidden meanings. So she purposely plants these fun details about her life, past work, or future work in the things she puts out into the world. Fans who pay attention to these details are rewarded with additional information about the pop superstar, like getting an album title early or even understanding more about Taylor's personal experiences. It keeps fans engaged with her work and her as a person. The number five tip from Taylor Swift is to stand up not only for yourself, but others as well. Taylor Swift has gotten into large public debates with music companies like Spotify and Apple Music. She refused to let these huge corporations stream her music unless smaller independent artists were better compensated. Taylor recognized that she had power as a famous artist and used it to help out smaller artists who were not being paid for their life's work. Both times Taylor came out against these music brands, the companies changed their policies to make sure artists were paid fairly. Even outside of the music industry, Taylor makes it a point to stand up regarding lawmakers in her home state of Tennessee and encouraging American youth to vote. Taylor has even released a documentary, Miss Americana, about her newfound political activism. Though for a long time, Taylor was quiet about her opinions, sharing them has only made her more powerful. In 2019, she collaborated with pal Todrick Hall to co-direct the music video for You Need to Calm Down. This video showcased LGBTQ plus celebrities and artists and included a petition to support the Equality Act which has protections for LGBTQ plus workers. This video went on to win a VMA for video of the year and gained enough signatures to warn a response from the White House. 
in the top of Taylor Swift's success tips, we have number four tip. Allow yourself to pursue new endeavors. Not only has Taylor Swift have written or co-written every one of her songs, but she has also taken on the challenges of acting in films like Valentine's Day and Cats, as well as directing or co-directing her last seven music videos. Taylor is constantly pushing herself and challenging herself, which makes her career extremely exciting to follow. New projects can come out of anywhere, like her 2019 fashion collab with designer Stella McCartney. No matter what it is she's interested in, Taylor pushes herself to new limits and tries new things. She even learned to do a split for her delicate music video. Taylor teaches that even if your main talent or per passion is in one area, you should feel free to pursue everything that excites you. It just might energize you to work even harder. The number three tip of Taylor Swift's success is to reinvent yourself with different outfit styles, color schemes, and famously hairstyles for each of her eras. Taylor Swift constantly changes as an artist. Swift has stated that she wants to continue to surprise people. She does just does that all the time. Swift caught everyone by complete surprise when in 2014, she switched genres from a country roots to an electronic pop album. And now at age 30, Swift has had chart-topping albums in the country, pop, and alternative music genres. Her Instagram feed changes color depending on what era she's in. Like for her colorful Rainbow Lover and the black and white nostalgia aesthetic of her album Folklore. And as one of only two women to ever win the album of the year Grammy twice, this method has clearly worked for her. At number two, we have the success tip. Build working and personal relationships that last. Taylor has sparked connections with famous friends like Selena Gomez, Ed Sheeran, and Ellen, just to name a few. Some of Swiss' best collaborators are the people who have produced several projects with her like Jack Anatoff, who has worked together with her to create 24 different songs, including Look What You Made Me Do, in August from Swift's new album, Set Anatoff of Swift. Taylor is the first person who let me produce a song. Before Taylor, everyone said, you're not a producer. It took Taylor Swift to say, I like the way this sounds. Taylor was always already friends with Jack. Then she took a chance on him as a producer. Now he's incredibly successful having produced albums with artists like Lord and Lana Del Rey. If Taylor had never had a friendship with Jack Antonoff, she likely would have never collaborated with him, which led to so many other successful jobs. As one of Tay's songs says, it's nice to have a friend. Finally, the number one success tip from Taylor Swift is Show kindness to the people who show kindness to you. Swift has said, no matter what happens in life, be good to people. Being good to people is a wonderful legacy to leave behind. And she takes that mantra to heart. Swift has a record of holding parties for fans to hear new albums before their release, scouting out Swifties on social media, and inviting them to her private home where they chat, listen to the album, and even eat baked goods made by Taylor herself. How do I get an invitation to one of those? Taylor believes in paying back the fans for the dedication they have shown her over their career spanning more than 13 plus years, and they pay her back in kind. Taylor ended out, sold out her U.S. Reputation Stadium tour, breaking the record for the highest growing U.S. tour in at least three decades. Those are the top 10 tips to success from Taylor Swift. As a businesswoman, singer, songwriter, actress, and director, Taylor has certainly found all kinds of success. Now, I hope you can go out and use these tips to kickstart your own passions. And remember, no matter what the haters say, you can build a castle out of all the bricks they throw at you. 
If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other celebrity or any other topic that you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.